you know, the book and, and was it Steve, did, were you, uh, you guys developed a friendship through um, a, a seminar that you, you put together and was this through a bunch of uh, conversations that you, that you've had with JJ about, you know, this, we need to put this down. This could be, this could be something. What, what was the spark that said, that kind of led you to like, let's, let's do something with this, with your story. Yeah. It, um, it was one of those sparks that lit very, uh, very quickly. Actually, we, we were at a conference together and I was, uh, uh, JJ tagged along with Sharon, who's his girlfriend at the time, now his wife. Um, it was a business conference and she was working at Forbes.com and he's a curious guy. So he came along just to see what was what. And I was speaking at that conference as well as attending it. And I gave, uh, I, I gave a talk on my body of work, which is about ex what I call extreme leadership. And uh, I opened that up for Q&A. So I'm talking about the role of love in business and 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 you know people need to be you know good to each other to 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 make a business work and he stands up he takes the microphone first guy to ask a question you see there's no surprise there and uh and he says he said um i am in the entertainment i had we hadn't yet met so this was our first interaction yeah. in front of an audience with the microphone in hand he says i'm in the entertainment business which is a business full of scumbags and assholes. And I've never felt, I'm paraphrasing now, but it's something like I've never felt like I, I needed to be that kind of person in order to succeed in this business. And the kind of stuff that you're talking about, he said, that's the way I, I've run my business. So that was our first interaction. And then we got to talking, we had breakfast and I heard the Twisted Sister story for the first time. And the hook for me was when he said, I came to the conclusion early on in, in our career that that there was no place for drugs and alcohol in the business of rock and roll. And I'm thinking of what you twisted. This is twisted sister. What do you mean? No. Dr so he explained the whole the, the whole scenario about how, you know, they had they in the early days of the band, they had, you know, they had lost people, people disappeared, people died and drugs was killing everybody. So he decided that's it and put a new band together including D Snyder and the band that eventually made it. And they were all just no, no drugs or alcohol. That was their agreement. So I thought, well, that's a, that's a pretty interesting story. Tell me more. And when you say to JJ French, tell me more, <laughs> that's, that's really all you got to do. That's and then, so I just sat back and I listened to the whole story. And I said, there, there were two things that were really clear to me from that very first uh, breakfast was number one, you got to get up on stage and you got to tell your story. You got to be, a, you know, be a speaker because you have a great story to tell and and you're just a natural storyteller. Mm -hmm. And number two, you got to write a book. Well, this was this was back in, I'm going to say, 2010 or 12, 11. Maybe. Yeah, no, because 2012, I, I did an event in San Diego called the Extreme Leadership Summit oh. and I invited JJ to come and speak. That was his debut as a speaker. That was 2012. So wow. that conversation happened earlier. So right from the beginning, it was really clear that um, that he had incredible talent in this area. What was not clear and, and took years to get to that point was that I would be involved in the writing of the book. I was I was helping from the, the speaker perspective because, you know, I've been doing that kind of thing for 30 years. Right. Well, now I have. Um, so the book part of it came on came along a little bit later he had a couple of stops and starts with with another co-author and finally we just looked at each other and said let's just do this together because i've written i've written four books and this is new for him and and I, I i love him i love his story so my job was as he said to extract the stories which again is not the hard part uh but then translating it onto the page so it works actually as a book and you know in the written form that was that was my job but this is his story it's his voice and uh it, it's just been it's been a great just a, a great deal of fun to work